Hello, today's video is about ingenious surface to air missile SAM tactic during the Serbian Bosnia conflict 1995. In June 1995, in the sky over war torn Bosnia, a US F 16 multi role fighter aircraft was shot down by a Serbian SAM battery. Back in the 1990s, the F 16 was a highly sophisticated fighter aircraft equipped with advanced electronic SAM detecting capability that alerted the pilot when their aircraft was being tracked by radar as well as when their aircraft was being pursued by SAMs. Anti-radiation radar systems. This capability served to give the F-16 pilot enough time to take evasive actions. So this ask the question, how did the Serbian SAM operator manage sh to shoot down the F-16? Well, it turned out that they employed a fairly ingenious method that I shall describe meticulously below. The SAM used by the Serbs is the Soviet build 2K12 Cub, codenamed SA. Dash six by NATO. It was a deadly double A system, so lethal that the NATO pilots referred to it as the three fingers of death. The launch platform was equipped with radar powerful enough to detect high flying aircraft at an altitude up to ten thousand meters and within a radius of seventeen kilometers. One day in June 1995, two American pilots were ordered to undertake an aerial patrol mission in their F-16s. Prior to takeoff, they had been alerted to their commander of the danger of Serbian SAMs and accordingly advised to carry out their mission with caution. The two F-16s took off and flew over an area patrolled by the SAM battery commanded by a cunning Serbian commander. As the two F-16s were in the range of the SAM battery's radar, the Serb commander activated the radar. Almost immediately, the F-16's SAM detecting instrument anti-radiation radar systems picked up the radar signal and alerted one of the F-16 pilots to the presence of a SA-6 battery in the area. But, mysteriously, the warning soon disappeared. Even NATO AVAX reported that they did not detect any SAM threat in the area. The F-16 pilot thought it was just a false alarm, except they were mistaken. The two F-16 pilots were unwittingly walking into a trap set by the Serb commander. The disappearance of the radar signal picked up by one of the F-16s a few seconds ago was a deliberate move, part of the ingenious tactic he devised Serb commander to ensure the downing of the enemy aircraft. Back in his mind, he knew that if the radar signal lasted long enough, just long enough, the SAM detecting capability of the F-16 would enable them to pinpoint and take out his SAM battery, which was the counteraction by the F-16. So the equipment, in other words, was already searching for the SAM battery on the ground, which would pinpoint by the SAM, by the F-16's uh, equipment. Now here comes the ingenious part of the Serb commander's tactic. That transient burst of the radar was just long enough for him to know the speed, altitude, and heading. The three variables were known speed, altitude, and heading in direction of the F-16s. He used this information to train his missiles in this direction and area of the sky. By rotating the SAM battery, he predicted, and the F-16s would fly into. Next, 
he would launch his missiles without radar and only turn on the radar about five seconds before the missiles reached the F-16s. Altitude to guide the missile toward this target. This was a huge gamble because if his prediction was wrong, then the missiles would miss the targets. Otherwise, it would pay off because the period of the time between the moment the missiles were detected and the moment of impact was too short for the F-16's pilots to react. So, the Serb commander fired two missiles unguided into the air without the guiding radar signal. Anti-radiation radar systems. The missiles were undetectable by the two F-16s. About five seconds before the missiles reached the F-16's altitude, he switched back the radar on, on his SAM battery. This is the critical tactic. The missiles were guided toward the F-16s. He just turned the radar on, which self-guided the missiles already fired onto the targets. Hence, getting a lock on. There is a video to complement this incident inside the video's description box in detail. Just to give an example of comparison of the SAM battery, I can just say that when you turn on your computer on Windows software and when the system is in, in the OS boot loader starting up and all of a sudden you press the power off button, the, the whole laptop uh, turns off. And then when you dehibernate or repress the on button, it it comes back on and starts up from where you left off on the OS bootloader, for instance. Click like if you liked the, today's video. Click the red button to see more of the videos. And hope to see you next video.